We like to test use cases where speech recognition is used by children in the classroom. And a lot of that, one of the things that we realized um, was a lot of those um, are passages being read by kids that have been written a long, long time ago um, and are possibly not culturally relevant, um, possibly not linguistically relevant for a lot of uh, children who wouldn't speak in the dialect in which it was written. So if you take an African-American English speaker, they might speak very differently at home with their families um, compared to how they may do in school, or especially when they're reading words written not in African-American English. So um, we um, have a situation then where we may think we're testing our system. If we have African-American children reading this passage, which was written by a white person 50 years ago, they are going to switch into that dialect and they're going to read the dialect and they're going to read it perfectly and it will be fine. And now it would be a mistake for us to say, well, that means our system works perfectly for African-American English. It doesn't. It works perfectly for general American English or whatever you want to call it, um, regardless of who is reading it. And that's a different thing. So one of the things that we um, make sure to test in our system is uh, when we're dealing with Latino English, um, African-American English, any of the other um, accents, dialects and in, in, um, in English, uh, we make sure that the uh, children speaking have had a chance to speak in their own dialect in the same way that they would if they were speaking at home to their parents, to their siblings. And in order to elicit that kind of speech, in order to test it, um, we have had to come up with a few little tricks, basically. So instead of asking the child to read a passage, we show them a picture and we ask them to describe it. So, um, you, you know, you do get varying results. Some people just say, I see a tree, I see a car. But, you know, other ones, they start talking about what they see and what it reminds them of and some stuff that happened related to it. And um, yeah, it, that's how you really, really capture the way people speak. And that's how you really, really test a system. I think I probably tell someone about describe the picture at least once a week. Um in just a in just a conversation about when companies say, well, well, how do we start? How do we get there? You know, how do we how do we make and and really what's what's so amazing about what you said is it that that kind of switch to gather data isn't this like huge overhauling of engineering to get the correct data. It's like it's literally just we're going to show in picture instead of have a young, you know, I think as, as a black woman growing up in public schools, instead of having me read some like Shakespeare or something, right. Or whatever that like is, you know, uh, and, and there's many conversations about also about when, when classrooms don't have culturally relevant content and children are for the sake of safety, for the sake of, um, feeling integrated for the sake of all of those things, they are, learning that process of code switching, and then they would come into this process and that would be reinforced, right? And Soapbox Labs is saying, no, we don't want to reinforce what the existing systems are. We want to create a new kind of system. Mm -hmm. um, and that, that, that switch is so such a, a simple thing to, to do. It's a deep thing to think about, but such a simple thing to do. Yeah. We're not going to just have people read words that didn't belong to them. We're going to let them use their own words. Mm -hmm. And the, the the own ways that they use those words to describe what they see, and then we're going to use that. And it's it's just it's so simple, but it's so deep at the same time to give um, a student that agency over their language and over how they express themselves is is so wonderful. And so I love to to tell people about that one small piece of the the long process that you all went through. Um, and I'm sure what we need to talk more about, yeah, what did it feel like for Soapbox Labs to go through this process and to, to think through all of these things? Mm -hmm.